Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. 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 Fine. Fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very nice. Flora, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Okay. How are you? I'm really good. Really nice. Great. Okay. Very good. How are you, Sofia? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. I hope so. Nice to see you today. Oscar, how are you today? Good night, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, Carlos Herrera, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher, and you, how are you? Okay, I'm really good, thanks for asking. Okay, Stephanie, how are you? Good night, teacher, fine, teacher. Okay, we're good, ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. Oh, very nice, okay, students. Uh, we're going to start with today's class because of the time. Recuerde que el tiempo, pues, se nos va sumamente rápido con ustedes. Así que we're going to start right now, right? Okay, Douglas, how are you today? Douglas Rivera, how are you? Okay, very good. Douglas is, um, you know, having dinner. That's amazing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No problem. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's start with today's class. And today we are going to talk about these things. Okay. Okay, students. Basically, we're going to continue with module three, right? And today's topic will be. Cosas. Yeah. Cosas. Cosas que las personas odian hacer. Okay, very nice. Thanks, Stephanie. In English? Things people hate to do. Very good. Nice. Amazing. Okay, Fabricio, how are you today? Good night, teacher. Ah, good. Okay, very good. Amazing. Okay, Fabricio, help me to read this topic. Uh, past tense with regular verbs. Okay, very nice, thank you. Okay, students, so basically today class, we are going to practice or uh, to read things that people hate to do, right? And also we're gonna talk about a little bit about past tense with regular verb. And that's amazing because we are going to be able to talk about past events, right? Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Yeah, okay. Douglas, nice to see you today. How are you? Hello, I am fine. Okay, okay, very nice, good. Okay, that's amazing, Douglas. Okay, Douglas, ahí puso la webcam, ahí congratulations, good work. <laughs> you don't have to be shy, very good. <clears throat> okay, students, I continue with this. Did you remember that we were talking about direction, right? How to give direction. In yesterday's class, we practiced a lot how to give direction. We have three ways to ask for direction, right? The first one is, is there? Is there? What does it mean, is there? There. I. I. Okay, I. No de dolor, sino de Okay. Eh, luego agregamos the indefinite article a, 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 according to the next word or the place, right? Around here. Alrededor. For example, is there a hospital around here? Right? Y ahí nosotros dábamos la direction, right? To left, to right, walk up, walk down, and so on, right? 
Okay, then you can ask the same things with these two questions. How can, can I get to? And we add the place. How can I get to? And add the place, right? And also we can ask, how do I get to? ¿Se recuerdan de eso? How do I get to? Yeah. Yes, okay, okay, yes. very good. If somebody have a question, it's the time you can ask me. Okay. Yeah, no questions. Okay, very good. Okay, students, um, I bring it to you a little feedback. And van a aparecer unas pictures acá. And, you, and I'm going to ask this. Uh, you have to ask these three options. The place you have to add here. Tienen que agregar el lugar que va a aparecer a cualquiera de estas preguntas. Okay, ready? Okay, yes, teacher. Okay, yes, ready. ready. Okay, go ahead. What about this? Park. Okay. Uh, what can I get to park? Okay, very good, Wilfredo. What else? What else? Another question? Is there a how can I get Is there a park around here? Yeah, very good. Thank you, Flora. Good work. Is there a park around here? Again, as we Fredo said. Very good. Nice. Okay, ready. We have the second picture. Okay. Restaurant. 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 Yeah. That's the place. Restaurant. Very good, Stephanie. Somebody else? Is there a restaurant around here? Yeah, very nice. That's the question. Okay, and the last one that we have is this one. It is a bank. Okay, very good. A bank? Yep. A bank. It is a bank. bank. Yeah. How can I get to bank? How can I get to bank? To bank? Yeah, okay, very good, Laura. How can I get to the bank, right? Good. The bank. And with this one? Is there is a bank here? around here? Yeah, very good, nice. Easy, right? Okay, students, basically, uh, this is the way you can ask for directions, right? Remember and keep in mind. Recuerdenlo y traten de no olvidarlo. If you are lost, you can ask with these questions. Uh, how can you get to uh, different places, right? Okay, very good. Questions? No question. No question. No. 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 Okay, very no. good. Continue with this. Teacher, okay. everything is Everything is clear. Okay, students, basically we're going to continue with today's lesson. Who wants to help me to read the objective for this lesson? The first one. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Very good. Okay, with the second one. Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, Stephanie. Very good. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life series. Okay, very nice, amazing, really good work, Stephanie. You can say this, used, like T at the end, used. Yeah. Used. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, students, we are about to start with today's class. But I see you're not like uh, boring, if you want to sleep, and something like that, <laughs> right? I want you to, you know, I want to see your smile, right? Okay, continue with this, students. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we have some useful words. Okay, this is a really nice expression. How do you say this? I'm more... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. It means Wilfredo. Yeah. Lo amo. Muy bien. Okay, nice. 
Podría ser, podría ser en algunos casos. Pero es como de cosa, Ticha, yo amo tal cosa o algo yeah, así. Yeah. Ah, hacerlo, o lo, no sé. Ok, ok, very nice. Estamos hablando de alguna cosa, right? No de una persona. For example, if I say, I love her. Ahí sí, yo la amo a ella. Me encanta y todo lo demás. But in this case, we talk about things, right? I love it. For example, yeah, for example, uh, I really like this group. I like it or I love it. I love it. Me encanta. Me encanta. Thank you, Fabricio. Very good. Me encanta. I love it. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, like this, right? Okay, students, now we have this one. How do you say this one? I hate you. 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 I hate no, I, I hate you. Así como escuché a uno ahí. No. <laughs> Hasta me afligí aquí. Oh, I feel something. <laughs> okay, perfect. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. I. Okay. okay. Hate it. Hate okay. it. I uh, hate it. I'm going to give you a tip. When you see a T, cuando vemos esa T acá, y tenemos este it, casi siempre, most of the time, la convertimos en una little r, en una pequeña r. I hate it. 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 Yeah, nice. I hate it. I think you sound natural, like this, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Continue with the class. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with um, things that people hate to do. Okay, what does it mean? Cosas que las personas? Odian. Odian. Odian hacer. Very good, odian hacer. Okay, excuse me. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have the first one. Stand in the line. Stand in the line. Estar en line. Estar en line. Esperar en la fila. Hacer línea, hacer fila. Yeah, hacer fila, hacer fila. Muy bien. Nowadays is something common, right? En estos tiempos es algo muy común. Así que, if you hate staying in line, sorry for you, right? <laughs> okay, and for me too, because I hate it. Okay, muy bien. Continue. Too to launder, to Okay, very nice. As you can hear, you have to memorize these expressions because do laundry. Es do laundry. Hacer la lavada. Entonces, laundry. Es lavar, right? Lavar. <laughs> okay. okay, in this case, you have to. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do, laundry. do you like it? Yes. Sure. Okay, very good. Okay. Ready? Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Viaje de trabajo. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Viajar al trabajo. Eh, okay. Eh, desde el lunes, yeah, pues, podemos viajar libremente, así que... Ahí, the traffic is you know, terrible, right? Or oh, terrific. 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 No, no. no. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Okay, travel to work. Yeah. Uh, some people hate to travel to work. Yeah. Some others, tienen la suerte de tener el trabajo en su casa o cerquita. Okay, continue with number four. Yeah. Go to meetings. Go to meetings. Ir a reunión. Okay. Ir a reunión. Okay, when our boss says, va a haber reunión, dice nuestro jefe y nosotros. Uh -huh. Ay, no. ¿Qué fue lo que hice? 
Este es solo para darnos un bono ahí. No. Ok, that's good. Go to meeting. Ok, number five. Exercise. 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 Ejercicio. Ok, ¿A qué le gusta? Hija, te estás pasando. ¿A quién le gusta hacer? A mí. Ok, muy bien. Thank you, Sophie. So do I. Ok, nice. Every day. Ok, en este caso no aplica para ustedes, chicos. No, mi chico. No, no, no. Exercise. Very good. Okay, continue with this. What about this one? Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Trabajar en el jardín. Trabajar en el jardín. Thank you. Very good. Okay, who wants, uh, who like to do this activity? Me. I love it. Okay, Fabiola, very good. Eres de mi, de mi, de mi equipo. Very good. Okay, work in the yard. It's amazing. Pero algunos no les gusta, right? Okay, number seven. Clean the house. Clean the house. Okay, very good. Uh, you love it or hate it? No, I love it. Love it. I had to work, bye bye. Okay, don't like that. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue with this one, number eight. Open the mind. 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 Okay. Love it or hate? Abrir el correo. Okay. Hate. Hate it, right? No. Hate. Hate. Love it. Okay, Wilfredo. Check it. Okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Continue with this, student. Okay, okay we have uh, top eight things that people hate to do, right? Uh, the most of the people hate to stay in line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meeting, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and open the mail. But not you. Pero no ustedes, ya me fijé. Ok, continue with this. Ok. What do you want to do right now? Did you remember that we use have? Have. What is have? Tener. 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 This is mm -hmm. used for obligation, right? Para una obligación. For example, eh, who wants to help me to read this sentence? Tienes que lavar todos los fines de semana. Algo así. Ok, ok. Tengo que lavar el fin. Tengo que lavar, que lavar cada fin de semana. Ok, muy bien. Pero but en inglés, right? I have to do laundry every weekend. Laundry every weekend. I hate it. I hate it. Ok, students, as you see, this is a, a normal sentence, right? Ok, but in this case, tengo que. Lavar o ir a la lavandería cada fin de semana. ¿Le gusta o no le gusta? No, 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 no. 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 I had. This is the question. Yeah. A... I hate it. Yeah, I hate it. Esto no es una pregunta, sino que es una expresión. Cuando nosotros, uh, when we talk about what we think about uh, daily activities, right? Ok, we have the second one. Douglas, help me to read it, please. Douglas Rivera. I have. Okay. Help me to read this one. Turn on your microphone. I don't have to clean the house. Okay, very good. Thank you. Really nice work. Tengo, tengo muy mala señal ahorita, no escucho ni nada. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay, eh, veamos acá. This is a negative, right? This is negative. I don't have. Negative. I don't have. 
front house, 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 Ustedes solo tienen que poner, I have to do, lo que sea que van a hacer de estas cosas o de otras actividades. I have to do, si lo tienen que hacer por obligación. Por ejemplo, Fabricio dice que le toca ahí, eh, clean the house, right? Ok, Fabricio, you have to no, okay. do clean the house. You love it or hate it, right? I don't have to okay. do. Y cuando ustedes no tienen que hacer algo, I don't have to, y agregamos lo demás. Muy bien. Ok, very good, students. We're going to practice with each one of these um, things that people normally hate to do. Ok, but I'm going to ask you randomly, pero le voy a ir preguntando así al azar. Así que, ready. Ok, eh, solo voy a mencionar el number y ustedes tienen que formular la pregunta si es positive for you or negative. Si es positiva para ustedes o negativa. Okay, ready? Ready. Yeah, okay, ready. Okay, here we go. Let me see. LC. LC. Yes, teacher. Number seven. Um, quiero ver before I can do that. Okay. Um, I don't have to work in the yard. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Do you love it or hate it? I hate it. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Elsie. Okay, Elsie, can you choose one of your classmates? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Está pensando en el más ahí famoso. <laughs> no, uh, Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie. Uh, number, let me see, number two. Me, teacher? Yeah. Number okay. I don't have, don't have to do, to do laundry. I hate do laundry. Okay. I hate to do laundry. Okay, very good. You hate it. Okay, nice. <laughs> Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephanie, I hate to do the laundry. Very nice. Good work. Okay. Stephanie, choose a name. One of your classmates, please. Um, Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo. Very good. Wilfredo, let me see. Yeah, okay, Wilfredo. Number five. Um, I have exercise. Uh, this the exercise every day. I love it. Okay, okay, okay very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to do. I have to do exercise. Exercise? And Monday. On Monday, very good. I love it. Okay, very good. Nice. You look like a muscle man right here, like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wilfredo, yeah, yeah, te expuso ahí. Okay, very good. Okay, Wilfredo, choose a name. Um, Leticia. Okay, Leticia, very good. <laughs> okay, Leticia, let me see an easy one. Okay, okay very good. Number one. I have to do staying online um, every day. I hate it. You hate it. Okay, really nice. So do I. Me pasa lo mismo, Leticia. Very good. Okay, Leticia, I choose one of your classmates, please. Uh, Fabricio. Okay, Fabricio. Ya fue Fabricio, le toca a Flor. Okay, Fabricio, an easy one. Okay. Fabricio, number four. Number four. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I hate to, uh, to do, go to, pardon, I have to do, go to the mailing. Okay, okay. Uh, 
on last weekend. And, um, weekend. I hate it. Every weekend. I hate it. Ah, you hate it. Okay, very good. Usted pensó que era ahí para el juego, pero nada. Ok, very nice. The last one, ok, Fabricio, you can do one of your classmates. Lilian. Lilian, very good. Lilian, yeah, are you there? Ok, Lilian, number seven. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay, I had to I had to do clean the house every day. Okay. I I I I did it. Okay, you hate it? Yes. Okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know like it. <laughs> you pensé que iba, you know, love it, right? No. <laughs> like this, but no. Okay. <laughs> Okay, very good, student. Basically, uh, we were talking about things that people hate to do. Uh, most of the people hate to stand in line, to laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and nothing to mail. Okay, very good. Y ya descubrimos que sí es cierto, que podemos hacer ciertas cosas. Okay, really nice. Okay, continue with this one. Hey, very nice. Okay, students. Basically, now we are going to see past minutes, right? With the regular verbs. Vamos a ver oraciones en el pasado. Oh, very good. Pasado. Okay, nice. We're going to start with this uh, particular verbs. We have this one. Have or has. We use have. When we have the first person and the plural. And has. When we are going to use has. Para la tercera persona. Tercera persona. Okay, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Para las terceras personas. Okay. And do it does. This is auxiliary and it verb, right? Too. Okay, do, primera en los plurales, y does for the third person too. Okay, but now we're going to see the past tense of this verb. Okay, ¿cuál es el pasado de have? Has. Has. Uh, okay. has. El pasado de do or does? Did. Did. Very good. Okay, students. When we talk about past, sometimes we feel, you este know, pasado. Yeah, yeah, nervous. Este pasado. Yeah, ¿Qué? have and did. Okay, okay, very good. Basically, students, when we talk about these things, eh, a veces pensamos que es difícil. That is really easy. De hecho, si ustedes ven, en presente tenemos que poner have or has. En pasado, solo had. Has. Para todos los personal pronouns. Okay, eh, the same happened with do or does. Did. 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 Okay, very good. For example, did you understand? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Nice. Congratulations. Really good. Okay, uh, remember that when we are going to talk about past events, cuando hablamos de un evento pasado, no siempre tiene que ser que pasó, bien, que pasó hace un mes sino que pudo haber pasado hace un segundo y ya es past. Yeah. Past. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's see uh, something really important. Okay. Let's see. Uh, who wants to help me to read this? The only difference between between a question in the present sense. In a question, the past tense in the auxiliary to does all the. Okay, thank you, Letty. Okay, as you see, students, uh, the difference between this question and presente, we're gonna use do or does. In the past, did. That's the difference, right? For example, uh, okay, who we'll read this one? 
Do you speak English? ¿Tú puedes inglés? Yeah, very good. Habla inglés. Okay, tú hablas inglés in present, right? And if we want to express the past tense, we're going to use be. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Hablaste inglés. Yeah, very good. Uh, for example, as you see here, uh, when we does use, he speak English? Does yeah. he speak does English? He speak English? Yeah, we use does for third person. Did he speak English? Did he speak English? Okay, very good, nice. Okay, students. So for example, let me see if something. Uh, for example, imagine that I ask um, Fabricio, did you speak English with uh, Reina? Did you speak English? Anna? With Reina? Anna? Reina, Anna? Reina Anna? Did you speak English? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did, did, did you speak English, Reina? In the past? Con el did es el pasado, sí. Did you speak English? Did you speak English? Okay. Reina, did you speak English? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Okay, remember. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. No, I did. Then it's very good. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, remember students, all the time when the people ask we do, you have to answer we do, right? If the people ask we does, you have to answer with does. For example, eh, si alguien me pregunta esto, do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Si es negativa. Si me pregunta, por ejemplo, Wilfredo, Wilfredo me hace la pregunta. Uh, teacher, does, uh, does Stephanie speak English? Uh, yes, yeah, she does. Yes, she does. Right? Uh, let's see. And it has happened the same, right? Cuando hablamos de pasado, pasa lo mismo. Cuando contestamos. For example, uh, alguien me pregunta, did you speak English, teacher, yesterday class? Ah, yeah, a little bit, right? <laughs> okay, entonces ahí, uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Right? Okay, it's clear? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is clear. Yes, clear. Okay, very good. In the present, and you're going to use do in the past. Did. 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 Okay. Did. okay. If everything is clear, we're gonna check if it is true, right? Okay, let's see. We have this. Okay, students, these, these things you can find on the platform, we're gonna use simple past statements. As you see here, uh, we have that we, uh, yeah, this one. We have these, these verbs. Yeah. The yeah. verb. Okay, for example, we got this one. How do you say this one? Watch. Watch. It's me. Mira. Ver. Mirar. Watch. Ver. Watch TV. Ver. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay, students, uh, watch. 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 Yeah, it is like a watch out, right? But in this case, uh, como nosotros los salvadoreños somos muy especiales, algo. Watch. 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 <laughs> That's good. <laughs> en este caso, watch es para ver algo electrónico. For example, a TV, a computer, a cell phone, a video, and so forth. Yeah. El TV, sí, I see you. Es cuando nosotros lo estamos viendo ahí presencialmente. Eh, en este caso, eh, is a Zoom a uh, meeting, pero es sí. Si vamos a ver un video... We're gonna see a video. No, right? We're gonna watch, watch the video. Okay, very good. Watch. Okay. Watch. Don't watch yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue with this. 
Exercise. 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 Yeah. Exercise. Eh, this one? Ejercitarse. Muy bien. Okay. This one? Study. 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 Okay. Remember, when we uh, have a Start. word that starts with an S, no le vamos a poner una E. No. Study. No. Sino que la S va a sonar corta. Study. 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 I study English. I study English. I study English. I study English. Esta significa? Estudiar. Estudiar. Yeah. What about this? Stay. 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 Quedarse o... Okay, then we have shop, 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 no, Lilian. Ah, Lilian, Lilian. Go ahead. Sorry. Este, ¿Y la diferencia entre shop y buy? Ah, ok, ok. That's good. Ok. Uh, remember that buy is the formal way to, to go shop, right? Buy es, con, es básicamente comprar. Pero la acción, por ejemplo. Eh, déjeme ver. Mm, ok. Eh, ok, I forget. Ok. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, buy is no, like... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it because I didn't have to buy it. Okay, so no, 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 o shopping, como decimos. Eh, shopping. Ese shopping es como vamos a comprar, pero in general, right? Podemos comprar. Oh, yeah. Es la acción en general. Pues el que compre, no. Compra. Muy bien, vamos de compra. Y yeah. shop es más específico. Y buy es más específico. Ay, específico. Buy es específico. Es oh, general. Buy específico. And shop is in general, porque hablamos ya de, eh, vamos de shopping, vamos de compra. Uh -huh. Ok. De compra de vestidos para las ladies, ahí, zapatos, eh, y muchas otras cosas. Right? Okay. Y yo sé que a los gentlemen, a los caballeros, les encanta ir con las ladies. Ay, ay no. Ay, <risa> hay hombres que lo hacen. Okay, that's good. No sé por qué se Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's clear your question, Lilia? Okay, thank you. Sí. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, students. And if you see, uh, we add ED at the end. Vamos un ED para formar un... Pasado. Pasado. Very good. Entonces, en este caso, what's the problem here? The pronunciation. El problema acá es la pronunciación. ¿Por qué? Porque we have three possible um, pronunciation when we gonna express a past tense. Tenemos tres posibles sonidos que los vamos a ver posteriormente. Eh, uno de ellos es T. Una T al final. Sí. Por ejemplo, watch. 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 Sounds insane. Y si ustedes no suena, casi lo mismo. Watch. 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 Algunas veces va a sonar una D al final. Una D. En otras veces va a sonar una ID. Ok. Okay. Eso lo vamos a ir definiendo. Eh, ya pasa el tiempo. Bueno, ok. Ya vamos a ver eso. Ok, muy bien. De hecho, chicos, eh, 
la, la clase es bastante corta para explicar todo esto del pasado. If you, if you want, I can send you through WhatsApp eh, a sheet of paper that I have in which you can find how to pronounce this verb, right? I don't know if you, if you like. No sé si le gustaría que les mande una página completa de cómo se pronuncia cada uno de ellos. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Perfect, teacher. Okay, very good. Ahí yes, los, los verbos más comunes son como unos 200 o 500. Ay, no. No, 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 no. no son poquitos, son poquitos. Don't worry, los más comunes. Son como uh, around uh, 60. Okay, very good. Vamos a aprender de memoria. <laughs> no, it, it's just for you, right? Es para que entiendan nada más en cómo se pronuncian algunos eh, verbs in the past tense. Ok, very good. Bien. Ok, students, uh, we're going to start with this. Who wants to read this expression? It's Tuesday on Sunday. It's Tuesday on Sunday. Very good. Notan, esto casi no se escucha porque las pronunciaciones... ED, ID, perdón, en español, o, I e, o una T. En este caso va a ser una T. I started on Sunday. I started. Yeah. In this case, it will be a T. You watch. You watch. You watch. A T, too. She's tied. This one is like, a, esta no suena nada. It's a soundless. Así que se dice igual. We shop. We shop. We shop. For groceries. We shop for groceries. Very good. This one? They exercise, they exercise on, on, on Saturday. Saturday. Okay, this is like a tea. Right. Okay, very good. Now, students, if you want to you know, make the negative wave, you have to add did or did not. Eso es todo lo que van a hacer si ustedes quieren negar algo, ¿sí? O ponerlo en negativo. Ahí es más fácil en el pasado. ¿Por qué? You, uh, instead of use ED, you have to put didn't. Didn't. Study. I didn't study. 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 Normal, study. right? So, no sé. Nos va a decir que es. Pasado. Pasado. Yeah, very good. Okay, okay. Let's see this example. Okay, Fabricio, read it, please. You didn't watch a movie. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, let's see. Floor. She didn't stay out. Very good. Lydia? We didn't shop for clothes. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see, Carlos. Carlos? They did exercise on Sunday. Okay, very good. Nice. And didn't is the, uh, you know, the contraction did form not. of did not. Did not. Did not. Didn't. 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 Okay, very good. Didn't. Okay, students, continue with this one. Okay, what we have here. Didn't. Okay, you have the positive and negative way, right? To build these kind of sentences. Okay, uh, the formula here is really simple. You have the subject plus verb in the past tense plus a complement. For example, I started on Sunday. Yep, that's a subject. This is the verb in the past tense and the complement. Then you're gonna find you watch television, subject, verb, in the past tense, and complement. That's easy, right? And in the negative way, the same, but in this case, you have to add didn't, didn't. 
en the verb in the present. Queda igual en el presente. ¿Por qué? Didn't. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't. Eso dice que es pasado. Ya, yeah, porque didn't nos está diciendo que es pasado. I didn't study on Sunday. Eh, esto es para los que no eh, pudieron eh, atender la clase de ayer, right? No es una indirecta ni nada de eso. I didn't study. Ok, teacher. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Me quedé sin internet. Ok, yeah. No, don't worry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ok, continue with this, students. We have a short conversation. Uh, we're going to talk about past events. I didn't study. It's the title of this conversation. I don't know somebody who helped me to practice this conversation. Raise your hand. Who wants to practice? Wilfredo? Yes. Your teacher. Okay, Wilfredo and Lilia. Okay, very good. Wilfredo, you will be Michael and Lilian, Jennifer. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, oh, sorry, right. I, I exercise I in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it, the laundry and shopping, uh, and then I visited my party. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched the television all weekend. Oh. Okay, very nice. <laughs> good job, uh -huh. good job students. Really good work. Okay, students, let's see this. This word you can say busy. 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 Yeah, busy. What does it mean, busy? I don't, I have... eh, fácil. Ocupado. No, ocupado. 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 Busy, right? Busy, ocupado. Okay, then uh, this is a, a, a expression. You can say, really? 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 ¿Cierto? De verdad. De verdad. Realmente. En serio. ¿En serio? ¿En serio? Yeah. ¿En serio? <laughs> Yeah, okay, then exercise with T. Exercise. Exercise. Okay. Clint. Clint. Shop. Shop. And this one is right. Thank you, Lilian. You did it really good. Visit it. Visit it. Visit it. Algunas iban a sonar con ID. It. Este es uno de esos casos. ¿Por qué? Porque termina con una T. Sí. Entonces el sonido natural que tiene que salir es visited. 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 Visited or visited. Whatever you want to say. Ok, very good. Okay, yeah, then we have started. Ok. Ok, very good. Ok, somebody else. I need a couple to practice this conversation. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Flor and Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, you will be Michael and Flor, Jennifer. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, Flor. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my rooming and I clean it, the laundry and shop it. And then I visit it. Visit, visit it. My part. My part. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what did you do on Sunday? I stood off for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study your wash. I just watch television all weekend. 
Okay, very nice. Good work, students. Congratulations. Very good. Okay, students, now it's time to put into practice our knowledge, right? Es momento de poner en práctica nuestro conocimiento. Así que, now we are going to translate it into Spanish. Le voy a ayudar con la primera. Dice, hi, Jennifer. Hola, Jennifer. Now continue with Jed. Tuviste un buen fin de semana. Okay, muy bien. Thank you, Carlos. Very good. Okay, tuviste un buen fin de semana. Pass, right? Because we have did. Por eso es pasado. Okay, muy bien. Reina. Mm. Pues yo tuve un difícil fin de semana. Mm. Yo estoy bien ocupado fin de semana. Ocupado, ocupado fin de semana. Thanks. Very good, nice. Y me siento. Me okay. siento. Y poco... me siento un poco cansado. Cansado ahora. 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 Ahora, okay. Eh, Leticia, is it right? Tired today. <laughs> okay, okay, that's tired. good. Yeah, tired. Okay, that's good. Leticia. Tired today. Really? ¿En serio? ¿Qué? O sea, ¿cómo? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Well, bien. El sábado. ¿El sábado? Sí, 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 en la mañana. Me ejercité en la mañana. Bien. Después. Después me... Roommate. Room. Roommate. ¿Cuál de esas se sabe? Room. What is room? Habitación. Habitación. Bien. Eh, Ustedes saben que es un classmate. Compañero de clase. Ya, yeah, very good. Entonces aquí sería. Compañero de habitación. Mi compañero de habitación li, y, y yo li. Limpiamos, limpiamos la habitación. Limpiamos la habitación, ¿qué más hicieron? La lavandería. La vamos. Y después Parents, ¿Es, es padres? Parents, padres. padres. Muy bien. Ok, luego tenemos, what did you do on Sunday? On Sunday. ¿Pero, qué hiciste? ¿Pero qué hiciste el sábado, el domingo? Pues? Entonces lo hiciste el domingo. ¿Qué hicieron? Yo estudié para el Todo el día. Yo estudié para el examen todo el día. Oh, no. Oh, no. No he estudiado. Tenemos examen ahora. Tenemos examen ahora, right? Así como ustedes se sorprendieron, tienen que terminar el midterm exam this week. <laughs> oh no, do we have a midterm exam this week? <laughs> yeah. ¿Cuál? No he estudiado. No he estudiado. Solo vi la televisión todo el fin de semana. Oh, okay. So that's why. <laughs> es por eso, right? Okay, students, very nice. <laughs> okay, I need a couple. To practice again this conversation the last time. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Somebody want to practice again this conversation? Uh -huh. Don't be shy. Have to practice. Okay, Fabricio, very good. Somebody else? Solo por eso Fabricio va a ser Michael. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Okay, somebody else, somebody else. Me, teacher. Okay, very good, Sophie. You will be Jennifer. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Sunday, I exercise in the morning and drink my roommate. 
and I clean the laundry and shopping and drain I visit my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I I study for for the test of days. Oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, very nice. Really good work, student. Okay, that's good. Uh, really nice work. I really like this group because you are amazing. Okay, student, this conversation, as you see, we have in the past. Right? Tenemos esta conversación en pasado, en tiempo pasado, así que... Really good that you understand all of these words. Si entienden todas estas palabras, o el 99% o el 99%, vamos por un muy buen camino. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's work together, right? Okay. You have to try make simple sentence in the past with this verb. For example, watch, study, and work. Because of the time, Debido al tiempo, unfortunately, desafortunadamente no vamos a poder eh, practicar todos, pero eh, van a haber algunos suertudos, lucky guys, que le voy a preguntar. Ok, watch, study, and work. And you can use this word that express the past. Estas palabras expresan un pasado. pasado. ¿Por qué es importante conocer esto? <coughs> Se las voy a decir en Spanish, right? Si ustedes se aprenden estas palabras que están sumamente easy, aunque muchas veces nuestra pronunciación no puede que no suene como pasado, esto sí lo va a aclarar mejor. For example, I studied yesterday. Estoy hablando en presente o en past tense. Past. Yes. Yesterday. 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 Okay, very good. We have yesterday. What is yesterday? Ayer. Ayer. Very good. Last night. Anoche. Anoche. Okay, okay. Last week. La semana, semana pasada. La semana pasada. Last year. El año, El año pasado. pasado. Yesterday afternoon. Ayer por la tarde. Ayer por la tarde. Yesterday morning. Ayer por la mañana. Okay, very good. And I have a question. Uh, who knows how to say antier? Day after day. <laughs> okay, okay. The day, okay, very good, Leticia. The day after yesterday. Very good. Okay, students. Uh, veamos ahí. <clears throat> Leticia. Okay. You're going to be the lucky lady. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Make a simple sentence using this verb, whatever you want, and please express with these uh, words that show that is in the past. Okay, for example, I study English yesterday. Now it's your turn, Leticia. Uh, I study a... I study mat mathematics. <laughs> yesterday, last night, in last week. You <laughs> really like math, right? <laughs> Me gusta la matemática, Leticia. Very good. Okay. <laughs> eh, unfortunately, time is over. Desafortunadamente, el tiempo se nos terminó. I don't know why. No sé si es que ustedes adelantan el reloj. No sé qué pasa, pero time is over, unfortunately. Okay, students, uh, that's it for today's class. I don't know if you have a question. No question. No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Everything is clear. Okay, Everything is clear. Okay, students, that's amazing. You are a really nice group. Uh, thanks for being here and have a nice day. Bye-bye, take care. See you tomorrow.
See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 And don't forget, you had to work on your meter exam. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.